and welcome to the castle everybody this is night saber z42 anyways we're playing holy potatoes we're in space and i think i have a plan mapped out um take a look we are going to actually travel here first off we're not going to actually explore because it's a very hostile planet and we would be underprepared if we did try we are not going to explore instead what we will do we're actually going to travel straight on to oh god Ooh, good. It is a toxic fog. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna come here because there's resources. It's another small planet, but it does have plasma, which I desperately need because a lot of my weapons that I do use, use plasma. And so, we're gonna travel straight there. I'm not gonna bother, you know, traveling there or uh, exploring the planet that we were on. It's such a hostile planet. And we got research ready. We're gonna... Oh, I can't do another research. Um, Bendy Cumberpatch is actually learning a new skill in there. So we're not gonna bother him with anything. So we're gonna instantly explore the planet that we are on. Small planet, so we should be pretty fine. Um, none of the enemies should be tough enough for us here. It's a level 3 planet too. I believe. Sleeping Queen or Evil Fairy? What are you doing? Cassian faced Aaron Hor at the scene before them. A group of cultists shrouded in dark robes are f holding their hands up in the air and chanting, watching as a group of edibles are burnt at the stake. They become crispy potatoes, like those crispy crowns by Aura Ida, or whatever that brand name is, which is really good, especially when you put the Cajun seasoning on it. It's really good. Try it. Don't interfere with our ritual. Queen Julia may have commanded us to spare you, Captain Cassia and Miss Faye, but if you choose to interfere, we will be forced to strike back. <laughs> Queen Julia? What does she have to do with this? Queen Julia is our leader and grand prophet of our court. It is she who will guide us to a higher plane of existence. Leave now or we will have to disobey our orders, n not harm our queen's benefactors. But what about those edibles? They are needed for the ritual. They should be honored. Their sacrifice will bring us closer to, trans to transcending to a new plane of existence. Uh, Cass? We can't just leave those edibles behind. We're not leaving. Release those poor edibles. I will engage you in fisticuffs. Ha 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 ha! You'll leave us no choice then. We will beg for Her Majesty's forgiveness later. Make sure that they do not interfere. Oh, look at your puny little succubus weapons. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Can I destroy one, two hits? Oh, your accuracy is, your accuracy is so low. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if I can take out that succubus. Oh, I got the goop fog or the goop rain. Ooh, we almost got rid of it. Oh, and he's using the pea shooter straight away. Um, excellent news for us because we're going to destroy you. And then I'm going to start destroying you. And he'll probably end up using the succubus on the next turn here. The other one. Oh, man, that crit was awesome. Yeah, I figured. Um, another thing on my side is actually getting actually down. 20% chance to blind all parts. That's really bad. Man. Sucks for you, man. Huh. Not that I really give a shit, because you're gonna die. Boom, boom! Oh yeah, that's right, I have the wave. I should be using the wave. Instead of my uh, awesome weapon, because it'll deal damage to all. Oh, now my second boss has an accuracy down. Interesting. Now I'm getting eight charge per turn, correct? I think I am. Yes, I'm getting eight charge per turn, which is excellent. And my charge is now up to, I think, 13 or 12. So that's really good. Um, just wave. Start banging up on the shield, which is kind of almost down. Unfortunately, I'm only getting eight charge per turn, so I can only use two of my weapons at a time, and I don't need the succubus right now, so I'm not gonna bother using it. Ah, oh, there we go, now we're getting up to nine. Um, one more hit on that guy. 
So hopefully next turn, I'll be at the 11 charge that I need. Yes. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to straight up kill you. If I should be so bold. Yes, sir. We just did half of your damage and HP, sucker. Get dealt with. Get dealt with. And there goes the dynamite. In your ship. And it exploded. Look at all the monies we got. We got a succubus level 3. If I have the spare parts for it and the time, then I will go ahead and build the level 3 succubus. I think I actually have a level 4 ready to go. Um, this just signal. Uh, I don't have the amount of plasma. Um, how valuable is our cargo? It's pretty valuable. Tell them we'll send some engineers over if they give us some of their cargo in return. Uh, okay. Uh, ha 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 ha. Okay, so... Uh, there was some explosives in the newly obtained cargo damaging the ship. Okay, well that actually doesn't matter. That's such... I mean, it's the end of our run here anyway, so... And we actually have to go to the star hub next anyways. Oh, that's a lot of plasma. This was definitely well worth it. Okay. Yeah, I know. We only have three souls left. Oh, we got steady hands. Cool. Cool news for you, bruh. Um, there was something else that I wanted. Was it research? Did I want to do some research? Don't have enough. I could get the refinement. And I think I will. But I'm not going to. Instead, what I will do, um, one, two, yeah. I need to start traveling back. Because I only have three souls left. Two souls left. And we're gonna travel. And one soul left. I could have had the research done by now, but... Um, there's something that I do want to check out first. Is there anything here that I want to buy? No, there's nothing that I can buy. So yes, I want to do the research. Oh, look, it's Captain Falcon! Oh wait, that's just Spud. Never mind. Crafting special. I already have like a ton of you guys. Yeah. Gina Winterfield. Missile. And you're a real guy. I like all these references to other stuff or whatnot. It's really cool. I like that. Um, is there anything that I want to sell? Level 3 is bus. No, I actually kind of want to build that. And then use that. Um, ba -da -ba -bum, ba -da -ba -da -bum. Kind of thinking. Yeah, we're going to get started on that research. Refinement level 2. Because I'm a greedy. I'm actually really sad, though, that those uh, abilities, like those character accrue abilities, don't scale up anymore. Like, steady hands level 2 only increases to 6% accuracy for all weapon types. So what is the use in that? It's like an extra percent. I mean... I guess any percent would be good, but it's already in percent. So this weapon that she has right now has a 110% accuracy because it has 105 base accuracy, correct? Yes, 105 base accuracy. So it's already adding the 5%. So accuracy is already um, displayed in percent. If it was like a static number, and then it added the percent onto that, then that would be fine, but it doesn't. It's a percent already. So there's really no point in upgrading those abilities because they're just useless. Um, some of her other abilities, though, um, this one, hold on. The system restore level one or level two is a 20% chance, so that would be good. Damage control level two is not worth it. Combat prowess level two kind of is because I think it's a 7% attack for all weapon types so we might try doing that but the 1% I don't agree with at all it's not it's not worth it at all
Uh, sorry, my nose is getting clogged up there. So, ah, I'm actually where I want to be. We need to go to the star hub here. So, say bye bye, and here we go. Onward and onward we go to hyperspace. All right, where we at? Come on, can't you just give the soy burgers a go? It's really good. Tastes like the real deal. Like the real deal, she says. They taste nothing like real hamburgers. Real hamburgers drip with juice, like blood. Like that one time in college when I accidentally ate a raw burger. Those fake ham, those fake burgers taste like. Don't insult my healthy soy burgers. Your burgers are going to make you rot on the inside in a few years. You can bet your sweet double chin on that. <gasps> we promise that you will never ever talk about my double chin again. Live fast and die young, as they say. Who stuck this on the ship? We know where Chiraga is. What? Who? How? Sounds like a scam. I'm going to toss it out. I, I don't know. It just says to go to these coordinates. Let's go. Even if it isn't real, they must at least know something. Fair enough. Don't jinx it, you idiot. It'll be fine. We're just going to take a look. What could be go wrong? Yeah, okay. If it wasn't already jinxed before, you just jinxed it, you asshole. Familiar faces. Wow, with bullet holes. That's not good. 12 souls left. Okay, definitely not the uh, 20 or some odd souls that it took last time. And our crew have new abilities. Unintelligible War Cry. Reduces all enemy attack weapons by 30% for one turn. That is like her first useful ability. Oh, like seriously. Uh, we got level 3. Level 3. Max increases evasion. For yeah, no thank you. Still useless. 40%. That's really. Oh, excuse me. That's really good. This is still really good. And revives one random destroyed weapon to 20% HP. Are you shitting me? Where was this when I <laughs> lost the hop scorcher? Where was this when I lost the pea shooter? Did I lose the pea shooter? I think, it, yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Faye, like, why would anybody ever use the other... Why would anybody ever use Cassie? Like, let's just throw that out there. Why? Why, why? Faye is such a better pilot overall. And I think that's probably, like, the whole, you know, hilarity of it. Um, the, uh... Oh. Huh? A survival specialist. What the hell does that even mean? No, thank you. You're useless. Um, bridge level five. I don't see it. Nope. Nope. Okay. Don't need anything. Don't need that. I would like the whole reinforcement. I might want the training room. Level three. Um, I might want the crafting workshop level three because crafting is now becoming a very important thing for us. And I'm tired of getting these stupid uh, upgrades. Yeah, these are still level three weapons, so. Um, so we're probably fighting level four stuff, correct? So let's see what we have available to us. I see three planets. No wonder why it's, there's only 12 souls left. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to go around and around. Hostile, difficulty three. Hostile, level difficulty four. That's going to take one episode. I can guarantee you that. And this one is small, but it's a difficulty four. Um, this is actually a lot, yeah, large and large. So we're actually gonna travel here first. 
Let me make sure I got everything settled just the way I want. I have my wave, my succubus. Why don't we get started on this baby? Now that I have the extra resources to spend. How many more days until you're ready? Three. Okay. Cool. Well, we're actually going to travel. We're going to take care of this planet and then call it an episode. And we're going to take care of the level four large planet in another episode because the last time we did a large level four planet, it took all episode. Cluedo! Okay. Succubus is ready. Do I want to switch it out though? Is a problem because this takes charge of two. I don't think I do. I think I'd rather keep it. Because this does 64 damage, this does 71. It's not a whole big difference. Now, if the percentage changed, then yes, I would go for it in a heartbeat. But we're actually doing pretty good on the level 2 succubus, so I'm going to keep it there. I'm using the level 3 as a backup, basically. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and explore. There's nothing else for us to do here. I'm kind of sad that we don't have access to the other bridge yet, because I really would like to get that fourth weapon and... But then again, we'd have to increase our um, charge meter, our charge, which we can't. We, we did that last system. Yeah, we'll carve your face in. I'm going to carve your face in. You know what? Is I'm going to carve it into a, the face of a dick. So, there. Um, one and two. I need to use my wave gun because it'll deal damage to everything, which is good. Oh, he's already starting to do this shenanigan stuff. Okay, that's fine by me. I'm gonna play it that way. I'm still gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack all your systems. And I'm still gonna heal mine, so... Boom, 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 boom. Yep, I'm still gonna heal. Ha, keep switching back and forth. See if I care. By the way, there goes your wave gun. Boom! It disappeared all of a sudden, and your shield is almost dead. Thank you for hitting my shield. Come again another day. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take care of that shield. Boom! There it goes, and there goes your missile. Um... What happens if I go straight for the hole? Cause I'm gonna destroy the missile with the wave. Yeah. Um, no thank you. You're just gonna die. Give me everything! Oh, we're underwater actually. Removes burn every turn, that's cool. So there we go, we got some parts available. Apollo level three that I'm just gonna sell. So overall, it's beneficial for us to actually destroy the ship because we get, oh, I can turn the shield off. Huh, why would you ever do that? Turn it back on, please. <laughs> why would you ever do that? Don't ever do that. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the Eviscerator, which is a multi-hit weapon, instead of the... Oh, Boom Barrage, which is also a multi-hit weapon. Pump Rock Bombardier. And you know what? I'm glad to say I'm gonna keep the Deafening Foghorn, because it's pretty much like the Hop Scorcher, only minus the burn damage, so... I'm actually really happy with this. I, I like these uh, multi-hit weapons, or the all-hit weapons, so I like it. I'm going to keep it. So it might be beneficial to get ourselves a wave specialist next time, but as our other crew member, but it, it doesn't really matter too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attack one and two, I guess. And boom, I actually probably should just attack straight up this with both. Do a maximum damage because it would have just destroyed that one anyways. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Guess what? Your shield's done now. And now I'm going to eviscerate your hole next turn or next couple turns. Um, nothing is still down. There we go. Man. That kind of really sucks that they wait all this while to give you the fix-it ability. Sorry. I'm just going to straight up kill you. I'm going to kill you and all of your crew. Because I can. Oh, you're going to ram my ship, huh? 
guess what? You're dead. <laughs> oh, wow. 9 HP and you're going to kill yourself. Yep. Wow, he hit us a lot. <laughs> he did a lot of damage to us. To our weapons, at least. Let's put a smile on that face. Oh, really? Two succubus. You know what they say. You can suck on this bus. <laughs> you can suck on this bus. We're already dealing damage to, the, to their uh, shield. That's a sad thing. Man, I think we have a really good setup here. If I can get like another multi-hit weapon, I think we'll be good. But then again, you know, I can't use all four of my weapons until I actually get my charge meter up. And I'm looking for like recharge too, is what I need. It's not just beneficial to have a maximum charge of a lot. I need the actual charge to go up. Because at this rate, I can't even fire with all three of my weapons yet until much later. Dude, your hole is getting attacked. Shield your hole, please. Shield the hole. And actually, he can heal his hole, so I need to take out that other succubus too. And there it goes. Um, no thank you. Instead, I'll just take everything you own and kill you in the process. Bye-bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> you see, if I was ever captain of a spaceship and the enemy was trying to hail me, I would just play NSYNC's bye 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 the entire time. Like, oh, hey, please, we need, please stop firing, we surrender. And then it's gonna bye 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 bye. <laughs> and then we'll fire our 10 of missiles and kill them. Bye bye to your shrapnel weapon. Um, yeah. One more time. You didn't even shoot this turn, huh? Well, that sucks for you. Like, why didn't you shoot that turn? You could have. You could have shot with your shrapnel gun. Instead, now you're just shooting with all, and it's not really going to pan out for you. Anyways, protect the hole. Um. Yeah, sad news for you because your shield is also done and we got rid of their weapons, too. That's that's like the real sad part Only problem is I don't think I can kill him. Oh, okay. There we go. He's just gonna ram our ship. Yeah He's gonna deal damage to all of our systems though, but we should be able to heal up Some of it so we're only taking 100 damage each turn, but he's gonna die next turn Actually, he'll die then not this turn, but next turn Oh, um, oh yeah, and he, of course, he'll hit us and kill himself. There we go. Getting quite a bit of fuel. Hey! Hey! Look, it's my favorite weapon that I don't need anymore because it's actually not very good anymore compared to my wave gun. Yeah, I don't know what I ever saw in the Hop Scorcher now that I'm now that I look at it. 10% less damage to each previous member and the level 3 is like only a maximum of 102 damage Now granted my crit chance on this is actually piss poor, but his accuracy is way down um, Sorry, bub, but You were my best friend before and now I'm actually glad you're bye 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, honestly, though, I'm really glad that he's not around anymore. So let's take it out. Is something on fire? Ooh, man, my shield took a hit there. Was I thought that was on fire for a second there. Bam, ba, da, bam. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm only gonna attack his shield. So if I can destroy his shield, that would be cool. Nope. Okay. That's okay. I should probably should have used the wave on the other. But, oh well. Um, you're both gonna die. The shield and the weapon, that is. There you go. And nope. 
Sorry, you don't get that luxury. You don't get to survive. You get to die. Um, hopefully my weapons will are will be safe. Um, actually they will not be safe. Oh god. Oh, I can attack with all, so good. Oh, probably should have uh, shielded something else there. Like my weakest weapon. Um, he's gonna die this turn, so no point in crying over the spilt milk. We are rolling in the dough, baby. Oh man, we're still going. A fortune, birds of a feather. Cassie plays with the feather as she and Faye stroll down the street. A gang of space bikers with feathery and spiky jackets walk past them, and the leader suddenly stops and turns to Cassie. Hey, you! You with the feather! Stop there! Cassie and Faye turns around to see the gang leader looming over them. His space bikers are arrayed behind him menacingly. The gang leader glares down angrily at Cassie. You! That feather! Where did you get it? Uh, this feather? It was given to me? That feather, I want that for my jacket. I'll give you this ring in exchange. The gang leader pulls an ornate ring off his middle finger and offers it to Case, Cassie. Cassie and Faye both stare at the ring and the feather in Cassie's hand. Interesting speech impediment aside that was throwing them off. Could this be the good fortune that the fortune teller spoke of? Um... Now I'm gonna... Oh man, I don't know, 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 I don't know. Ooh, Shiny, give it me. <laughs> Thank you. I'll add that to my jacket. The gang leader hands the ring over to Cassie in exchange for the feather and walks away satisfied, twirling the feather in his fingers. Faye examines the ring in Cassie's hand. What are I going to do with this ring? Well, I don't know. Keep it? It looks pretty cool. Okay, for a second there I thought Faye was going to like examine it and then it turns out to be a Faye. I would have been super pissed. Hey, look at all that that we won. We got ourselves a little 3 sick buzz, boom garage, don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, and we got the order ring. Cool. And we got 11,000 starch back. So, even better, I'm gonna go ahead and research something. What'll it be? I don't, oh, I can't. Because I got one. It's okay. Yeah, I really don't care to upgrade that. Doesn't really matter. Um, but what I will do is, we're gonna train your last skill, bro. <laughs> Anyways, that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Check the description for my Facebook and Twitter information. While you're at it, give this video a huge thumbs up to support the series. And subscribe if you would like to see more. I will see you guys in the next video.